Io, there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. In our last episode, we were introduced to the main character of the game, aka Sola Tatsuya, which was the name that we were given by me. And we were introduced to our family. We saw the sights of Inaba a bit and we returned home, only to, only to have Dojima go back to his job, leaving Nanako and us by ourselves. So, anyway, <coughs> after a um, nice dinner, we're now going to be going to our room and well, sleeping since it's been long. It's been it's been a long day from our trip. This is a room you you're borrowing from Dojima. This is true. All of these items that we are oh sorry all this furniture that's going to be in this room going to be serving an important purpose later. This is where we get to study, but we can't do that because we're so dead tired. That's much why we haven't even unpacked all our stuff and haven't really officially started school yet. So, let's just sleep on our futon. Now, I've actually slept up on a futon before. It's it's comfortable to a degree. <clears throat> we'll be living in the town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow, you should get your hair to bed. <clears throat> God, my throat. <clears> throat> I still have that, have that grape soda from last episode. Time to take advantage of it. And this is in the dream world. There's no way we could teleport from our room at Inaba to this mysterious place. Kokoa. All you can do right now is proceed forward. You know, that's one thing I really, really like about the SMT games is whenever, like, the narration tells you what to do, it's just so blunt. <laughs> My last question, it feels kind of weird playing this game on a PS4 controller other than the Vita device itself. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. Uh-oh. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. Oh dear. You sent someone up ahead. Will you continue? Yes. This is a staple in all the SMT series. Whenever you're gonna face against a boss or something, they always tell you a message like, Are you sure you want to continue? That's pretty much the game. Way of saying go and prepared. So you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. All right, and we have the introduction to the battle system. You know, this game doesn't really tell you it. It's pretty simple. It's it's pretty easy. You really don't have to do anything spectacular. Just you have three options. So to attack this mysterious figure and do three points of damage. Good. We're off to a good start. <laughs> it seems you can see a little despite the fog. Indeed. We have the option to guard, of course, which will serve no purpose since this boss will not attack us whatsoever. So we can actually just use our abilities. Zeo, do it! Now, that entity that you saw us summon, that's going to be important later, but not now. I see, indeed. That is very determined and interesting information. Alright, just cleave. I love those high protagonists' <laughs> quotes and like their grunts and everything. It's pretty cool. But you cannot catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Bewildering fog. Oh no. Now we're going to have even a harder time hitting this entity. Do it. <laughs> and we missed. God damn it. Everyone sees what they want to. And the fog on deepens. And we missed again, Jesus. Will we meet again? At a place other than here. <laughs> I look forward to it. And we're losing consciousness, so God. No! <laughs> 
All right. Well, despite us having a nightmare where we were missing every t- all the time, well, n- near the end of the fight. Breakfast ready. Uh, Nanako. Anyway, despite the train, we, we need to get up and start for that day at school. Yeah. Yeah, for yeah, for now we just need to worry about school. We can worry about what our dream was later. Though I'm actually kinda of concerned if we're gonna have the same dream tonight. Good morning. Hey there, Nanako, what's up? And hey, she even made breakfast. So Nanako, you're awesome. I love okay. you already. Let's eat. Sweet. And I guess Dojima's uh, oh, I was thought that Dojima would have would have slept in since he for work last night. I guess he's not back. Um, wow, what should I do? It doesn't matter what you choose. I mean, this these kind of choices don't really matter what you choose. It doesn't affect any affections or anything. Uh, I guess, do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Cool. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. Oh, <laughs> so Nanako is the cook and she does the laundry. Okay. You're that's, starting school today. That's right? kind of backwards, considering Dojima's the adult. My school's on the way, so let's go together. Sure. I will try to be a reliable cousin to you, Nanako. Nanako seems somewhat restless. Uh, you decided to go to school. Uh, uh, sorry to hit school with Nanako. Jesus. At a Semagawa floodplain. No oh, God's raining, Jesus. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. All right, see you later, Nanako. Have a good day at school. The Lord knows I'm hoping I do. I mean, think about it. We're gonna be meeting in school entirely as school full of new people. So this is going to be interesting. Nanako is just going back to a school she's already been to. And this guy is not having a good day <laughs> already. <laughs> yeah, that looks painful. Especially when he's holding his crotch like that. <laughs> you should even be. That's kind of cold. Well, we could have said, are you alright or something. No, oh, whatever. I guess this cultural region will be intact. You arrived at the main gates of Yasugami High School. What kind of student, what kind of student life waits you here? Yeah, what kind of life are we going to be experiencing at Yasugami High? Hey, it's been a while. Good so morning. morning. Yeah, it turns I out I could study at a year and a half. Talk about really? bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. Oh god, it had to be long with their long ass. Hey you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. And that's what to be me, my dear. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? And this is the new voice of Ch- Er, sorry, I'm not gonna spoil her name. But we'll get into that later. You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. I'm surprised you can stand up considering your crotch region got wrecked. What's with him? <laughs> Who knows? All right, shut your traps. Oh, God. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. Speaking of long ass, oh, what's it with your teeth, bro? First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven <laughs> snow. I can't see that happening, actually. Sweat drop. <laughs> now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. Yes, please do, Morioka. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Um... And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. 
What? Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Okay, we have three three options here. Three options here. Nice to meet you all. Silence, and you call me a loser. Now, obviously, I would see why you would probably not want to choose this. But if you choose this, it will actually help you out in the long run. So choose. Are you calling me a loser? What was that, you piece of shit? I'll kick the shit out of you, motherfucker. Oh wait, uh, that's it. Say all you're that. on my shit list. Effective immediately. Well, you're on my shit list. Now listen up. This town <laughs> is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. I see an asshole right in front of me. Oh. You better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. What are you, 80? <laughs> Morioka goes on and on and on Excuse and me, on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Wow, my first day, I get to sit in the, in the next to a cute girl. I can't complain about that. He's the worst, huh? I'll say. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Oh, that doesn't sound very reassuring. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Right. Then again, we're all in the same boat. <laughs> Shut your traps. I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? This is true. This is very concerning. But it's not like they're all on my side. Having sympathy for me for being part of King Moron. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. <clears throat> Treat. Attention all teachers. Oh. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Uh oh. That sounds serious. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Well, at least he's a little bit concerned. His vein this wasn't in his head. Getting on my nerves. We could plan, plan an accidental death. I know a Something few people. Happened? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Oh, Are you wow. serious? Yeah, you can tell this is a small town. Because, hey, like, one hey, little incident can get everyone in a riot. Ask you something? <clears throat> is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Wait, at the end, it's like, I guess this girl is... Okay. Yeah, I guess not. Okay, so she's, this girl's part of the inn. That's cool. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? Hmm? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. But what thing? I'm curious about it. Uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer. Really? Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Oh, God. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. I wonder what happened. 
incident? <clears throat> what? Something actually happened? Yeah, like I said, <laughs> uh, incident stirs up this. Come on, this small let's go town. take a look. Now, if this was a city or something, it wouldn't be all that bad. Well, depending on what kind of incident it is. Are you going home by yourself? Uh, yeah, we kind of came Why'd by ourselves. With us? Then again, I will not oh, deny that offer. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Ah, Chie Chan. Oh, <laughs> you do? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you. Well, nice to meet you. <laughs> I can show us that option was. It was funny. <laughs> Yukiko Amagi. Ah, uh, Yukiko, okay. Nice to meet oh, you, Yukiko. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. Now, yeah, I was waiting for her to introduce herself. Now, Chie is actually voiced by Aaron Fitzgerald. Now, for those who played the PS2 version, they would not recognize this voice because, well, the the, the previous voice actress, I forgot her name. Forgive me, I forgot, I forgot her name. But she did, did not reprise this role for Chie. I kind of actually, at first, it surprised me, but now I actually kind of like this voice of Chie because I've heard it so much. So I can't, like, not hear Aaron Fisher as really, a voice. That's all. But I, I I I I remember a lot of people like not liking the voice. But I but after a while when you keep hearing it, you're gonna eventually start to fit her voice into this character. Does it actually make her sound like a teenage girl, you know? Uh, um Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like the way they moved was just amazing to see. And how how the hell can you not recognize you're in Lowndall? He's everywhere, Jesus. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Oh no. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> DVD. Ah! Damn. <laughs> it was Blu ray, what son. The? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. Oh, my trial of the dragon. I'm sorry, Chie. Mine's cracked too. <laughs> Critical hit to the nads. And she gets one more shot at you. Are you alright? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. But Chie, you, you got a critical hit on him. You can do one more attack on him or whatever. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. I would think so after being kicked in the balls like that. <clears throat> Yeah, she'll even be. <laughs> wow, we're just so cold to him. Jesus. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? Oh, yeah, sure. You just come out, out of nowhere and just ask that out of the blue. What? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> I just like her reaction. She's like, wait, who the hell are you? I'm sorry, she doesn't curse. She's like, who are you exactly? Except like, he just came out of nowhere. Where school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I will admit, he's pretty bold. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. I bet you can tap, he won't tap that. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? The Amagi challenge, huh? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I'm pretty sure that's a no, dude. I, I'm not going. Fine! Ha! <laughs> Fine. I'll just wait till you're alone. What did he want from me? I think he kind of told what you that. Want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Really? Yeah, he just told you that. You really had no clue? Sheesh. Oh, Yukiko. But then again, <clears throat> it was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, I thought he was. Turn down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't mm. recall doing that. Oh, really? Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? Oh, yeah. I'd rather not. Oh. <laughs> That'll teach me to get my hopes up. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I like how they changed his name tag, too. The cycling student. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. Thanks, bro. We're just curious, is all. 
And that's what they all say, GA. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Oh, I guess we're causing a, a bit of a commotion. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. <clears throat> right, right, right. After you, Miyukiko. You came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Yeah, it's not that big. There really is nothing here, huh? Well, I guess you can say that. However, it has that homey feel to it, I guess. That's what makes it nice. Urban feel, but I guess. there's nothing much we can show <clears throat> to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Hmm. Oh, wait! There's the Amagi Inn. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Okay, so that's what that student was talking about. About, about that announcer being at her Huh? It's just an old inn. No way. It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations. And Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Kind of funny it's famous if I haven't really heard about Their it till now. I mean... It attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh, wait. You, you're gonna ask me this now in front of her on a spot? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think she is. <laughs> Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? That is kind of surprising. But then, yeah, I can understand why every guy would be trying to get with her. Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Kind of hard to believe after what happened earlier in front of the eight. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was, I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, G.A. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? You know, G.A., I wouldn't mind trying to go with you, too. But you're not listening to me, so I'll just keep High it to myself. left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Hmm? Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Hello, a dead body. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Holy sweet Jesus. That is terrifying. Hey there, Dojima. Oh, God. We're not supposed to be here, are we? Hey, what are you doing here? You know what? That's a good question. What are we doing here, exactly? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we were just passing by, honestly. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. Yeah, it's kind of on the way to our house. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? Yeah, he's our uncle. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Right. Hmm? <coughs> uh. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Well, he is a young detective, so I guess the same thing isn't. Go wash your face. In common. We're gonna go around and gather information. <laughs> well, can you keep your chin up, young detective? Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean? It was hanging from the antenna. Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. Yeah, good call. 
All right, then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. All right. And the one thing you'll notice is they won't really say our name flat out because we had to choose our name. So you'll see a lot of other ways they'll, they'll tell they're talking to him other than his name, exactly. Just like she just said neighbor instead of our name. Ah, uh, yeah, this music again. GG! Okay. <laughs> Okay, we have, uh, now, now in the PS2 version, we, we, we would be going straight home. However, we can actually explore this town a little bit. And did not mean to go here. Jesus. Oh, shut up, Morioka. I didn't mean to go there. God damn it. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Okay. Break it down now. The swag walk. You know it. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know it. Pimp style. Okay. <laughs> I, I love this one. I really do. I, I think I was eargasming me in the last episode, too. All right, guys. I'll end this episode here, but next time, let's play and um, how to have a voice crack there. Let's play Persona 4 Gold, and we will be returning home. So, then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode.